Idiot number one. Jericho has not been in the main event for six years. And yeah, TNA has young guys that can take the company forward when the veterans leave. But the thing is, TNA is too afraid to let the veterans leave. They don't believe that their young, amazing talent is better than Sting, Nash, Angle, Booker T, and Scott Steiner. Okay, there's a whole lot wrong with this, <laughs> but let's just cover. First of all, to be a main eventer does not mean you have to be champion. And once you've reached to a certain level, you know, the Jericho with the Undisputed Championship, main event of WrestleMania, the guy was a main eventer forever. Didn't matter if he went back to the IC title, it's just like Shawn Michaels. If Shawn Michaels became IC champion, he's still a main eventer. So, Jericho has been a main eventer ever since he's become the Undisputed Champion. Yes, they spent a lot of time solidifying Jericho in the main event. See, that's the difference. They put the time in the effort in pushing Jericho to that level. And Jericho was obviously successful. Well, and another thing is, too, Jericho left as a main eventer against Cena at SummerSlam and came back as a main eventer, immediately feuding with Randy Orton. Okay, so that whole argument is complete crap. The only thing you're right about is Jericho hadn't been a main eventer for about two years because that's how long he was gone from the business. Yes. That's it. Um, the thing about their amazing talent, TNA's afraid, no they're not. The bottom line is is they use these guys to draw in casual fans because idiots don't appreciate like just pure wrestling. They want to see big superstars and there's some guys that on that list like Kurt Angle that is just as good as their young talent exactly. and there's some guys like exactly. Nash and Scott Steiner that aren't you yeah. can't compare Angle to Scott Steiner you can't compare Angle to Kevin Nash that is yeah. just ludicrous and those guys are not even on television right now and Kevin Nash hasn't wrestled in quite a while yeah. you know, he wrestles very very rarely on television Kevin Nash's role is trying to get over Samoa Joe that's all he's been doing and it really hasn't worked no. Um, you complain that the WWE isn't creating new talent, but they are, Doug. No, they are. are. Okay. Yeah. Look at the SmackDown scramble. Kendrick, Benjamin, MVP, and even Hardy are new additions to the main event scene this past year. Punk as well. Morrison has everything. Priceless has a lot of potential. Evan Bourne also should be kept in mind that no young talent jumps from the WWE to TNA, but they do vice versa. Harrison Truth. Also, Kurt was kicked out for the good of his health. He didn't leave. Just okay. Be flash. Please. Give me a break. First of all, that scramble match was a complete joke. Yeah. Second of all, what are they doing after the scramble exactly. match? Exactly. That's the key. One match does not solidify someone being in the main event. Putting Shelton Benjamin in the ring with Triple H one week on SmackDown in the main event does not make him a main eventer. Just because Sheik Abdul-Bashir faced Samoa Joe on Impact last night, does that mean he's a main eventer? No, <laughs> it doesn't. Well, and here's the thing, too. They're feuding Triple H and Jeff Hardy again, which means they have no faith in MVP, no faith in, in Kendrick, no faith in, in any of the guys that you've listed off because they're only relying on their veterans. And believe you people, Jeff Hardy is a veteran. Yes. That guy's been around for like 10 years. He was having plus. dog matches with King Kong Bundy. You know? <laughs> Razor Ramon. In 1996. The guy's been around forever. He's not no rookie. He's not no young guy that's trying to get his start. Same with Matt Hardy. Exactly. You know, these guys have been around for a long time. What else does that thing stick? Stupid thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Kurt Angle, okay? Yeah. Kurt Angle, I've said this over and over again. Vince Mann, on by this, publicly stated that the thing that hurt him the most in this business, seeing a guy leave, is Kurt Angle, not Hulk Hogan, not Macho Man, although I don't know what Macho Man did because he's got a huge grudge on him. But anyways, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle left the WWE. He tricked Vince McMahon to releasing him only to sign with TNA. Okay? Yep. And honestly, I don't think he had any intention to sign with TNA, but you know, they offered him something that he thought was never possible in this wrestling business. Yes. And so he had to And on top of that, he was following the product prior to asking for his release and he exactly. liked the young talent that he saw. He even straight up said, you know, the guys in the WWE locker room, guys like Batista, guys like John Cena, are guys that he can't have matches of the year with. Exactly. But then he looked at TNA's television program like, man, I can have great matches with AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Christopher Daniels, the list goes on and on. 
And then you look at our truth and Braden Walker, okay? First of all, Braden Walker has been recently seen crying in an indie show talking about how the evil empire destroyed his passion, okay? And second off, our truth I haven't heard much about him, and I haven't seen him do much. He, he's had that match with Shelton. That's about all he's done so far. Yep. So I don't think he's really and in a great place. Don't forget about right Monty now. Brown either. Yeah, they did a real good job with him. He was on ECW, cut like one promo, and then lost, you know, pretty much uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 matches in a row. Okay. <laughs> Next. WWE is pushing the older guys. Yep. This is idiot number three. Oh, yeah, idiot number three. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I don't introduce very well. Yeah, WWE okay. are pushing the older guys. So what? They give us what we want to see. Wrestling fans want to see Jericho versus HBK in a ladder match. People want to see Edge versus The Undertaker in a Hell in a Cell match. People want to see matches like that. And I agree. Yes. The absolutely. younger guys will get their shot in the future. They will just have to wait until the torch was passed on to them to carry the company. When the time comes, they'll wait and we'll be there for it. Okay, well, I hope you're there in 2012 because that's how long you're going to wait. You're going to have to wait till those guys leave. Absolutely. And you're asking us as wrestling fans to invest our money in the WWE product so that we can wait? Yes. Okay, and, you know, the whole thing is wait on Carlito. Wait on Shelton Benjamin. <laughs> we wait waited. on Chris Masters. We waited for a long time. Wait on, I don't know who else has been up and comers. Wait on Matt Hardy, for goodness sakes. Okay. Perfect example, Matt Hardy. How long did it take him? Ten years yeah. to get an ECW World Heavyweight title? That means absolutely nothing. No offense to Matt Hardy. I no. love Matt Hardy as the performer. I always thought he was the stronger of the two Hardys. Wait on Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Oh, he man. still hasn't become champion, okay? And that guy's gotten title shot after title shot. You know, yeah, the well, bottom line is... reason why he's not a champion. Well, we all know the reason, too. <laughs> but the bottom line is, is you WWE fans have such this blind faith this hope that it's all going to get better, that eventually they're going to realize what they need to do. Look, since 2004, I've been waiting. And guess what? It's 2008, almost 2009. Nothing's changed. It's been five years. Yeah. Almost five years. And nothing has gotten any better. Okay? And for two and a half to three years of that, we invested our time. Exactly. We invested our money. We invested our own blind faith in it. Yep. You know, and what happened? We got nothing. And let me tell you what's going to happen. The veterans are going to be forced to retire. And then Maybe. you're going to have a bunch of young guys come in that, that didn't get ready. it properly pushed, that aren't yeah. ready, that aren't over, and yeah. the crowd's going to reject it. And then yeah. they're going to come up with some freaking John Cena machine to try to get over, and they might have one guy over, just one, yeah. and a whole roster of like 15 that aren't. Yeah. And that sounds it's, like disaster. Yeah, it's disaster waiting to happen. You'll be around, we will too, and we'll see who's right. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Y2J was just mid-carding in the IC title. People were begging for him to be put back in the main event, and that is now where he belongs. Uh, TNA is doing what the WWE does. They're holding back youngsters from Booker T, Double J, Sting, and now possibly Foley. Um, if it wasn't for Foley, if it wasn't Foley, and, or it was HBK and Batista, you'd be just as excited, even though these are the same top guys holding back a towel at the WWE. Oh, my God. First off, This guy knew, is double idiot. We okay. knew, as soon as he put HBK and Batista in the same sentence, what we were dealing wow, with. Wow, yeah, no credibility whatsoever. In fact, his name's Armand. I had to put his name out there, because I want everybody to know how stupid this guy is. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. It doesn't matter what company you're from. I don't care if you're from New Japan Pro Wrestling. If you're the man, you're the man. Yep. Shawn Michaels is the man. Would I mark out for Shawn Michaels to come to TNA? Absolutely. And would Shawn Michaels be feuding with just Jeff Jarrett and Booker T and Kurt Angle and Sting? I doubt it. Shawn Michaels would be feuding with Samoa Joe and AJ Styles and Black Machismo. Guys that are going to be eventually their future. Okay? Yep. That is the difference. Yep. Okay? The reason that Shawn Michaels and Jericho are in the main event right now is WWE felt that Punk couldn't cut it. Yep. And the way that they treat his title reign is a perfect example of that. I've never seen anybody get more crapped on than CM Punk for a WWE title. And I've never felt worse for a wrestler than CM Punk for a WWE title. I mean, this guy has less credibility than a mid-card right now after being a WWE champion. That is pathetic. <laughs> oh, man.